Hello YouTube, this is Grim Joe Beast. I'm here to do a uh, movie review on um Spaceship No wait, Space Battleship Yamato's live action movie. It's a foreign film and um like I don't know anything about the anime whatsoever. And I enjoyed the hell out of this film. Some people may say it come off corny over the top cheesy but me personally I thought it was better than most of the movies that came out already in America and that's saying a lot okay here are the past movies I've seen in like the past two to three weeks I've seen Super 8 I've seen Green Lantern I've seen Transformers I've seen Sucker Punch I have seen what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I've seen Transformers. I've seen Sucker Punch. I've seen um, Super Eight. I've seen Green Lantern. What else? Those are four that I can really think about right now, and none of those movies can hold a candle to this movie because the CG, excellent. I mean, Transformers got some good CG, but for adapting an anime like it did and it wasn't out of place it was done so well and like I I usually don't I mean like I don't know what it is but the past two foreign films I've seen were um I say 13 assassins in this movie and they've been better than the American movies I've seen like Super 8 I don't care what no one say I don't care what the critics say this is my opinion I don't think that was good. I mean, annoying kids, you can barely see the monster, and it just wasn't, it wasn't as much, I did, I would expect way better from uh, Steven Spielberg and J.J. J. Abrams. I would expect better, but I didn't get it. Transformers, I went there for action, I got what I got what I came for, but it's not on the good movie list, let's be honest. Forced cheesy jokes, like the jokes are forced and cheesy. Too much time, way too much time with the humans. I mean, what makes the movie, like, okay is because of the last 40 minutes because it does that, it does the um, invasion or the extermination of humans very well. Does it very well. But other than that, in the beginning, <laughs> other than that, it was typical Transformers fair. I still say the first one's the best one. Second was crap. I like the action, but it actually couldn't hold, couldn't, couldn't keep that movie up. The third is a step up from, it's a step up from two, but it's not better than one. Sucker Punch. I saw that. Like I said, like great action. I mean, it tried to be deep, and I caught like. I might have, a, I might didn't catch everything that is, tr it had, it had a lot of underlying tone. I may didn't, I may haven't caught it, but I caught, I caught some of the underlying tones. But that don't mean I really enjoyed it. It tried to be like a mean, like it tried to have like the underlying meaning, something like Watchmen or whatnot, and whatnot, and. I caught it. Wasn't that interested in it? It was the action was great. The girls looked good, but as the story, it tried to be deep, and it couldn't. It couldn't do it. Well, what's moving on? Another Lantern. Green Lantern. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed it because because I'm a Green Lantern fan. He's one of my favorite characters for the DC universe. Him and Batman. Two favorite characters, period. I like Wonder Woman and Superman, but those two favorites, favorites. So, my opinion may be a little biased on Green Lantern because, I mean, it didn't spend enough time on Oa, too much time on Earth. But the Green Lantern movie cannot hold a candle to Space Battleship Yamato. Here's why I say why the effects were great. I mean, the ring effects were good, but whatever. 
we're not talking about that anymore. We're talking about space, Battle Spaceship Yarmulke or whatever. Um, people really gotta stop complaining about the subtitles because they're missing out on really great movies. They've done better than um, they've done better, way way better than Hollywood because Hollywood, you have to get really good directors to get really good stuff. Um, besides Super Nine or Super Eight. J.J. Abrams did, um, uh, did, um, Star Trek, the movie, and that re re reminded me so much of that, of, um, Spaceship Yam Yamato. They, I saw similarities. Only thing that would have really been nice, but we didn't have it, was, like, a, like, kind of a Kirk and Spock rivalry, but it wasn't there. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't mess up the movie anyway. Damn, I gotta explain the movie. <laughs> Five minutes or six minutes already. But um, yeah, Earth has been turned into a radiated wasteland, where the rem the remnants of humanity is are living underground, and they have one more battleship. It's called Space Battleship Yamato, like in the title, and um, the crew's mission is to um. Uh, Go find an anti-radiation device to save Earth and to save humanity from the brink of destruction. And we really follow this ex-pilot named uh, Sumasa. I can't. I'm not good at names. Sumasa Koeda, and he follows his um his journey with the captain and the crew of this ship. In order to really save humanity, and um, I read in some comments, like in some videos, that it's like a space opera kind of, and I completely agree. The epicness, the scope, was simply amazing. The effects were great. Some some may say the acting was over the top, but I say it it matches a typical Japanese kind of film or attitude. Because if you watch anime and you and you see by some foreign films, the way they talk, like the way they act, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's like real life, but it works for them, like it works for um those kind of films, and um like I said, it impressed the hell out of me, it was good, I was surprised at how good it was, I may have to watch the anime, I might have to, even though I have, I'm watching so much right now, I may have to actually watch the anime, because that's how good it was. Like I said, I mean, that and 13 Assassins has been the best movies I've seen. I've seen all these American movies, and they they aren't holding the candle to these two movies. I hate to say it, but it's like, the acting is like, oh, I, I really can't explain it. Because Sucker Punch, I think, it, like, it was, the action was good, but the but the other stuff was so dull and boring. I just didn't really care about it. Transformers, we know that problem. It's the Bayformers, really. Can't wait for that reboot because I hope the next person does it right. And um, um, so but like yeah, um, the effects were great. I personally love the acting. And um, like, uh, I, it's hard to explain without spoiling it. So I'm really not trying to spoil it, but um, just the the characters and the actors are great. Like I really got the feeling of desperation throughout the entire movie, and then it really and this movie really kept me on my toes because it's like an attack could happen at any moment. It was kind of suspenseful a little bit, and it had a little love story like intertwined with it, and it really worked. Like I, I was, I liked it. So, so finishing up this video, I mean, there, I mean, there have been good movies. Ones I can think of top of my head, like right now, like right now, I, can't, I I'm trying to think of more, but the one that comes to mind is Christopher Nolan. He's been hitting gold every movie he's done. I mean, the past three movies that I remember. Like that I know of, like I remember off the top of my head, um, 
Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and Inception. Three fantastic movies. He's the only one. He's really the only one that's been hitting gold for me. I can't wait for that new Dark Knight Rises. Um, JJ JJ Abrams. I'm waiting for him to do Star Trek 2 because Super 8. I did not enjoy that at all. Overrated. Uh, Transformers. We know it's overrated, but what what, what are we go to see it for? Really. The robots kicking each other ass, and for some reason we, ha we have to have a sexy woman in there. I mean, she she did look good, but that can't carry a movie. It really can't. Um, Green Lantern, we know that problem. Uh, but I'm glad they're having two. But please change the director. I'll accept Ryan Reynolds. Just change change the director. Make the script better. Stop spending so much time on Earth. Go to Oa. Go outside of Earth. Because we don't need it right now. And, uh, but yeah, I keep diverging. But I just like, when I see this movie, and I compare it to the other movies I've seen, I'm like, wow. It's the best movie I've seen all summer. Like, dead ass. And um, the two movies I'm really actually looking forward to that's made in America, Captain America, The First Avenger. That looks good. It really does. It's like Iron Man 1 good. And um, um, Harry Potter, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Part 2 came out. Like Part 2 is about to come out. And the trailer that I saw in the theaters were epic. Oh, yeah. I've seen Bad Teacher. Um, I mean, it's not really relevant because not it's a comedy. But I mean it was it was hyped up. It was okay. It wasn't even that fucking funny. I mean Kennedy she was she she looked good because like how old she is and she still looks that good. Like wow. And it was a bit vulgar. But it was funny. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. It's not it's not like worth the ten dollars. Matinee maybe. There was it had its moments, but it wasn't super funny. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you may see another video, you may not, but I just had to get this up. Look online, look for, space, like, if you, if you do not mind subtitles, and you're tired of the Hollywood bullshit, search Space Battleship Yamato, look for that and watch that movie. If you don't mind subtitles, if you like anime, and you just want to see something better than what's been happening, check out that movie. Because I personally think it's better than all movies I listed. All movies I said that was made in America. Oh yeah. Also check out 13 Assassins. That's a great movie too if you want to see some samurai action. But yeah, this is uh, Grim Joe Beast. Comment, rate, subscribe, and tell me what you think. Um, so, you, you may see another video, you may not. But, um, anyway, um, I'm out. Later.